हर घट तक है तेरी कहानी पग पग प्यारे दंगल 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 सूरज तेरा चढ़ता ढलता घर दिश में करते हैं तारे दंगल 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 ग्रेट मॉर्निंग माय डियर फ्रेंड्स भूपेश आनंद so today we will be starting with a new study session we have we have entered into a new study session and and that is macroeconomics as, as i have told you that economics can be divided into two parts micro and macro we have covered micro part we have covered four readings in that and today we will be starting with a new study session which consists of three readings and that relates to monetary policies physical policies international trade and currency exchange rates all international scenario will be dealing with so my request to you will be that today's lecture is very important it will build you a foundation so you have to write down you know there are only small handwritten slides so you should prepare class class notes along with my lecture so please take out your registers i have written a quotation for you practice makes the man and the woman both perfect practice makes the man and woman both perfect it means the key of success is practice so let's start with the practice and today i am starting with study session number 5 which consists of reading 18 reading 19 and reading 20 it means there are seven readings in the whole economics two study sessions we have completed one we have completed four readings and today i am starting with a new study session and reading number 18 and reading 18 is related to monetary and physical policies so i will be giving double star four star five star to this reading this is very very testable and important for real life the monetary policies what is a monetary policy who frame is who frames that monetary policy who is central bank for india i will say reserve bank of india is a central bank what are the main functions of monetary policy what are the different policies of monetary policies what are the tools of monetary policies all that we will be discussing in this reading named as monetary and physical policy the next reading will be international trade and capital flows why is mr narendra modi mr narendra modi is going and telling all over the world that please come into india because because in that case there will be capital flow international trade will be there why one country purchases a goods of another country why indians buying purchase goods of chinese made you know and why they are more interested in japanese so there is a international trade there are some theories in that technological developments absolute advantage comparative advantage so we will be dealing with that and the last is when one country deals with another country it has to do a, the transaction is to be concluded with the help of an exchange rate so how how dollar is exchanged with inr or how what is the exchange rate between gbp great britain pound and dollar so all those currency exchange rates direct quotes indirect quotes base currency quote currency bank rate forward rate spot rate all we will be discussing under currency exchange rates my dear friend so these three readings are most important so today i will be starting with monetary and physical policy so please prepare your notes along with me and monetary and physical policy consist of 20 learning outcomes it means it will take you know 19 to 20 lectures to complete this reading and i will be happy to complete that because this is very important and it will build your foundation so today i am going to start with learning outcome number a and that learning outcome number a is very simple define explain or difference between monetary policy and physical policy what is the meaning of a monetary policy and what is the meaning of physical policy in coming learning outcome we will be discussing the tools of monetary objectives of monetary and all different blah 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 detail we will be going in that but in today's lecture i will be just giving you the meaning and and what i mean by physical policy and what i mean by monetary policy so please be patient here. sit straight and please see to me that how which type of example i am giving which type of website i am showing you because if if i related with real websites you know real data you will it will it will remember it, it will be having a long lasting effect in your mind 
So I will be showing you today different sites, RBI site, Fed site, Chinese site and all that. And then with the help of those examples, with the help of those websites, I will be trying to build the foundation. So let me start with the journey. The first point which I want to tell you is that what is the meaning of a physical policy? Now before I start with the power slides, just you tell me that supposedly this is, this is, this is, this is, This is world map, you know. This map is in front of you. So we are doing, we, now today we will be doing with monetary and physical policies and I am doing from macro point of view. Now you tell me that if, if, if in any country, if you are the government, if, if, you, if you are the prime minister of any country, if you are the prime minister of any country, then what will be your objectives? For at least a hypothetical case, assume that you are a prime minister of a country or you are a president of a country and you have full powers to control that, the economic growth of that country. So what will be, what will be your, your main, you know, what will be your main objectives? No doubt, if you if you become a president or a prime minister of a country, your main objectives will be that to have a price stability in that country, to have economic growth in that country, to, to increase the GDP of that country, increase in per capita income, increase in personal income and all those positive signs must be there in your country. And for that, you know, as a prime minister, as a chief, as a, as a, as a, as a governor, supposedly you are a governor of Reserve Bank of India of India, Central Bank of India, then what well, what what are your objectives? That what should be there in your in your country, India? It means, as a governor of RBI, your objective should be that your inflation rate in that country should be in control. It should not be very high, or it should not be less. And that there is a there is a there is a constant you know increasing appreciation in, in INR Indian rupees. So these are the objectives as a governor, and that those were the objectives as the as a prime minister. It means if I coincide both, you know, the, the main objective is that there should be a price stability in your country with economic growth. So because of these two objectives, you know, we have different types of, we have two tools, I will say. The first tool is named as physical policy. We frame, every country frame a policy named as a physical policy. When I say a physical policy, it is a true picture. It is a, a blueprint of what are the government expenditures, what they are planning to expense this year or what they have done the expenditure and what is the government revenue. It means a blueprint of government expenditure and government revenue. That blueprint, that picture, that primary, that planning, that something which is there, that is named as physical policy that this year we are planning to have this much infrastructure we are planning to have seaports we are planning to have this much social for social reason we'll be doing this expenditure this expenditure this scheme that scheme lively scheme all that different expenditures you know that in which which areas the government will be planning to do expenditure and the objective which i have just told you that the objective is economic growth price stability the control inflation you know so all that expenditures will be will be jotted down and and from where this revenue will be coming how much revenue will be coming from gst how much revenues will be coming from income tax how much revenue will be coming from other taxes so these are the sources of government revenues and these are the expenditure of that government you know now this list this policy which is there you know which consists of government expenditures and government revenues just with the objective to have economic growth to have a price stability in the country so that policy is named as physical policy my dear friends so every country frames a physical policy on the same side i will say if 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 you become you know the the governor of this reserve bank of india your mr x governor of this country 
governor of reserve bank of india it means what will be your objectives as a governor we have just discussed to control the inflation to control the money supply to control the interest rates you know it means if you have the control over the key indicators if if you have the control over the key indicators that is if you have the control over in over inflation if you have a control over money supply i think you can control in you can you can control that economic growth of that country so that is the main objective you know that is the main content of a policy it means how much note should be printed how much should be the gold reserve what should be the repo rate what should be the interest rate what should be the borrowing rate whether i should we should have a expansion in monetary policy whether we should have contraction in monetary monetary policy it means when i say expansionary it means whether we should increase repo rate or we, we should decrease repo rate we should decrease repo rate if we decrease repo rate the borrowing rate will be less then borrowing rate will be less the citizens will be more borrowing they will taking the loan and when they will have loan they will they will start start spending it they will have to start consuming it and ultimately the economy will flourish like anything so it is this is expansionary monetary policy similarly in case there is a huge flow of money in the market to so monetary policy as per the monetary policy that is named as contractionary contractionary monetary policy repo rate will be increased when repo rate will increase the the borrowing rate will increase when borrowing rate will increase it is a demotivation for the public for the citizens they will not borrow because that borrowing cost has been increased ultimately it their demand will decrease ultimately inflation will be in control so we have to see as a governor as a head of that country you know that what tools what should be my content of that policy and that policy is named as a monetary policy so i will be showing you i will be showing you so many sides with the help of which we can get an idea that what i mean by monetary policy and what i mean by what i mean by uh, physical policy now physical revenue when i will say the government revenue i will say if 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 government revenue if government revenue is more than government expense it is a very happy happy position happy because case situation when revenue is more than expenditure i will say this type of situation is named as surplus budget surplus and in case government revenue is less than government expenditure i will say it is named as budget deficit i will i will say it is named as budget deficit so there are two types of scenarios you know so we will be dealing with that so in today's lecture i will be starting with first point that what is what i mean by physical policy because in this i will be covering learning out number a physical policy so physical policy is government's use of where the government will use their taxation and where they will spend it means it is it means it is a track record of government revenue and government spending government revenue and government spending so physical policy is please note down please prepare the class notes along with me physical policy is government's use of taxation and spending i will say use of revenue 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 and expenditure to influence the economy it means to have economic growth to control the key indicators of that economy we have to do expenditure we have to collect the tax as a government thing then then this concept will be more clear to you to you that is the as physical policy so so uh, along with physical we have to see the monetary policy also as an indicate monetary it is relating with money how much should be the money supply how much should be the how much should be the how, how much is a money multiplier what is a basic reserve behind that what should be the policies what should be the repo rate what should be the borrowing rate what should be the inflation rate how much should be the inflation rate all that something which is the you know that policy is named as monetary policy monetary policy deals with determining the quantity of money supply how much supply should be there in the content in 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 the, in the economy because if supply is more there will be a, there will be negative impact devaluation will be there inflation will be there my currency will de depreciate so we have to as a as a governor you know i have to think it from the point of view governor as a, it, it is highly intuitive that how much money
money should be supplied you know in the economy by the central bank in the economy so i will say this is the main monetary policy the basic meaning i will say this is the basic meaning of physical policy and this is the basic meaning of monetary policy physical policy is more related with government you know central government state government and physical monetary policy is more related with central bank the, with the governor of that bank so so both physical and monetary policies have the same objective aims to achieve economic growth both have the aim to achieve economic growth both have the achieve aim to achieve economic growth with 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 price level stability it means both both monetary policy and physical policy have the objective to achieve economic growth but it should be with price level stability so so how it can be achieved you know but the point is government uses physical policy because i have just told you that physical policy is more related to the government sometimes government relates government use this physical policy for political benefits also mostly in the in the year prior to prior to elections you know if you see minutely there will be huge free allowances free subsidies because they want to feel because they want to give the incentive to the public so that they can be happy they can be motivated and they can give vote in the next year so physical policy can also be used for for you know for political reasons for social and political reasons so i have written that note number 1 government uses physical policies for social and political reasons as well and i have just told you what is the meaning of a budget surplus when in physical policy the government revenues more than government expenditure i will say it is a case of budget surplus but in case of india i will say in the, always we have a budget so deficit i will be showing you in case of in case of fed reserve i will be showing you that also just just wait for a minute budget surplus it is a scenario where government 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 revenues more than government expenditure it is i will say it is i i am i am sorry for this this is budget deficit i have i have read it wrong this is budget deficit when expenditure is more than revenue it is budget deficit and when revenue is more than expense very simple intuitive it is named as budget surplus and the next point which i have written that monetary policies can be of two types which we will be discussing in detail in the coming lectures expansionary monetary policy or contractionary monetary policy when i say expansionary monetary policy it means if there is a if there is if if there is a very very uh, normal economic growth and we want to increase that growth rate we want to have something happening in the economy then then the governor should go for expansionary monetary policy should decrease the repo rate it means it will have a effect on the less borrowing rate will decrease and ultimately and ultimately there will be a high flow of demand in the market you know so just write down six point detail i will be discussing in the, in the next lecture monetary policy could be expansionary could be contractionary so so in 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 expansionary i will say that the money supply will be increased and the interest rate will be decreased in case of contractionary monetary policy there will be a increase in interest rate so these are the points which to be taken into account so let me start with first point that what is what is fed reserve you know economic data i want to show you some data in regard to fed reserve and with the help of that we can you know find out that what what is the meaning of physical policy now what what physical policy contains of or just let me firstly show you this is this is the you know graph which tells us that in how many years there was fed surplus and how many years there was a case of fed deficit just see here from 1917 if i start black line is fed uh, okay uh, blue line is fed surplus and black uh, and black is deficit so blue just see blue always we have maximum cases in that uh, we have surplus just see 1993 this is a surplus just see here 1999 surplus then 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 in 1999 surplus and in that case you know this is this is deficit because this is below that okay and this if 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 my budget if the blue line is below this i i will be having a deficit let's see here 2013 and in in this 2015 again negative 2016 2017 it means it means we can see that 
whether the government spending is more or whether the government revenue is more, it can be calculated with the help of a Fed deficit or Fed surplus. Similarly, in India, we can find out that what were the gross physical deficit rates. So these were the rates, you know, just see in this financial year 2015, minus 4.1 was the rate in financial year 2016 3.9 was the physical deficit of India government Indian government 2017 3.5 percent 2018 1.2 percent it means we can get an idea that deficit is decreasing so what is what is deficit physical deficit when expenditures are more than income and where it relates to it is a physical policy which tells us something about that and now I am coming to the monetary policy in India we have a demonetization time in November 2016 that how much should be the money supply so that is the main role of central bank of that country Reserve Bank of India in, in, in case of India that whether demonetization should be there or not overnight Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi killed 90 percent of the nation's currency overnight so so this is monetary policy and and then we can say that you know we have physical responsibility in budget management act that this as per this act the inflation should be this much should not be more than that that we will be dealing in detail in the next lecture and last point which i want to tell you that reserve bank of india gives us the monetary policy and these are the different informations which have been given by rbi and we can directly see from that that what are the repo rates, what are the reverse repo rates, what is the you know what is the balance of report, outlook of growth, all inflation prices, and different different scenarios we can see from here. And this is a site where I generally spend you know most of my time to have a look on these. So these these can be you know I can have a different detailed information in that policy context and what are the different areas in which Reserve Bank of India is giving more emphasis. Oh, at least you have got an idea that what is a monetary policy and what is a physical policy. No doubt in coming lectures, we'll be dealing in detail. What are the tools of that? What are the what is the meaning by money multiplier? What is the process of supplying money? How should be the supplied? What are the tools of monetary policy and all that? You know? So be happy, be jolly, be cheerful.